everybody, my name is Fruitfly, but you can call me Dustin. Today, I'm go basically going to be reviewing this really nice mechanical keyboard that I had recently bought from Walmart, unsurprisingly, for around $45 or so. Honestly, whenever I had gotten it, it was maybe around 30 at the time. It was a really, really good, um, really good steal, honestly. Um, to review this keyboard, honestly, what I'm going to be doing is basically rating it off whether or not I like it. Um, whenever I first started getting into PC gaming, I never really knew about mechanical keyboards. Honestly, I was just used to the membrane. Um, those were basically those keycaps or key switches or whatever the hell they're called. But these, however, are actually MX Blues. They're very loud and whenever you're gaming and you're playing on mics and stuff like that, everybody will be hearing it. Honestly, you, if you guys hear from right here. as well as over here. It is pretty damn loud. Now, if we go over here to let's say maybe OBS, so let's open that up, and we decide to let's say, take our blue Yeti over here. Of course you can see the little audio capture, however, makes no noise now that is probably because of my current settings which I will put probably right here of course that goes with gain noise suppression noise gate and the compressor which is all very good it's it's a cheap keyboard yet it's so nice like a you know one that you'd buy for a hundred dollars or so um, if you're looking at current keyboards and stuff like that, you'll notice that most of them are around the $120 range. This goes without saying that Razer's current keyboards are maybe around 60 to maybe, I don't know, around what, 100 or so dollars, which is completely fine, honestly. But if you're going for something that is loud, cheap, and honestly has great quality, you should really go for this keyboard. Um, it's great for gaming. It's great for video recording. I mean, if you're looking to do ASMR keyboard videos, then by far, this is going to be your best choice. Um, this does go without saying that your audience will obviously hear it if you're live streaming or doing anything else like that. So maybe you would want to buy a membrane keyboard just as a an alternative. But honestly, if you're really going for something this great, um, it's cheap. It's it's pretty cheap. It's, it's damn good, too. Um... I gotta admit that whenever I first started and I had gotten it, I had no idea how the hell keyboards worked. I had no idea how uh, how loud these goddamn things were. Now, of course, I'm gonna put it up to my mic. That way you guys can see me game with it real quick and, you know, we'll get to it. Now, of course, we get on to the gaming software. Boom. 
This is basically what it looks like before you go and do anything crazy with it. Of course, um, the On Gaming website does have the download link to the software where you can actually change the LED colors. It's not just strict like this. Um, it does. You can actually make your own presets as well as use the regular ones. If I am correct, it is FN, and you can change it to whatever you want. So, right here, I believe that is, yeah, that's just the one key right there. So, you can use it to just mess around. It's really if you don't want a bunch of lights in your face. So, press FN, and then it'll probably be one of these keys right here, which is actually all six of them. This is to every preset, so that's what it looks like. It's a little shockwave. Another one would probably be right here, where you click that and it would actually create all that right there. Um, this one right here, it is just a little circular rainbow motion. Um, FN and insert would actually be, yeah, it would be the color changing, which is very slow, very chill. Looks very nice on streams, basically. Um, another thing you wanna do is probably to go back, you would uh, press FN and end. Um, for me, I have five presets already, usually just to match up whatever I'm feeling. So let's say I got my nice white and silver. Um, I have my strict red, which is really, really nice. Believe me, it works perfectly. Um, I also have my yellow, blue, and white, which actually uh, fits my Naruto wallpapers, um, the, the Minato ones or whatever. And then, of course, I got my little purple and white because it looks very nice. Now there's a million settings, obviously, you can go through with it. Look at that right there, that looks pretty epic. Um, to do that, you'll come across this. This right here, it may look really hard at first, but I promise you it is the easiest thing in the world. So whenever you go up to something, you wanna just click on it, and you know, you don't wanna press any of that. What you really wanna do is go to lighting, and this is where you can select the settings. So if you wanna keep it at full lighting, which is basically how this looks right here, that's basically it right there. Um, you would press full lighting and then of course go to your color, click it and bam. And it should change as soon as you click on it. Um, that goes without saying that in order to select a bunch of keys, you hold down your left and you just grab as many as you can or grab as many as you want, which is pretty awesome. And uh, right there you wouldn't be able to select macros or anything like that, you just select color, bam, select brightness all the way, speed if you're doing let's say blinking or spectrum, press ok and you're done. And uh, once you're done, you want to click that right there, which basically saves it. And then boom, you got your little different colors. So it is a pretty really good keyboard. Honestly, you can select all of them. Um, I believe you can also copy them over as well, which is pretty awesome. But uh, yeah, there is a little updates and stuff like that. I don't know really what they're for. Maybe new colors. Who knows? I, I really don't know, honestly. But uh, it's pretty cool. And yeah. Um, yeah, all I really gotta say is buy this keyboard. It's amazing. It's freaking awesome. But yeah, I guess um, I guess that's about it. Honestly, if you guys wanna subscribe for more things, obviously I plan on updating my seat, my uh, my uh, PC setup and everything like that. I wanna get uh, I wanna get ready for like streaming and all that. I mean, with the current setup, I mean, it's a uh, it's not gonna work out perfect, but um. I, uh, I really want to do streaming soon, so be sure to stay tuned for that. Peace.